Hi guys, this is Jude from EasyTex. In this quick tutorial, I'll be showing you how to resolve screen resolution problems in Windows. Here I'll be using Windows 10, but similar approach would work for other versions of Windows. As you can see from this part of the video, my screen is not in the right resolution. The texts and images look a bit fuzzy and kind of blurry, which is certainly not the best impression, especially given the fact that I'm using a 1920 by 1080 Full HD screen, which should give a way better quality of display than what you can see right now. Normally, I should be able to change this resolution from the display settings, but as you can see here, that option is grayed out. Now, if you are like most people and have to stare at your screen for many hours each day, then it's worth ensuring that you have the right resolution. With that said, I'm going to jump right in to show you how to resolve this problem and hopefully you can get your screen looking good again. So first I should mention here that Windows is designed to set your screen to the best possible resolution by default, but that is after installing the required display drivers. And that brings us to the first possible solution to this problem, which is ensuring you have the right display drivers installed and updated. But before you go ahead searching for one on the web, it's advisable to first run a regular Windows update to allow Windows to detect the specifications of your display and install the required drivers. This is highly recommended, especially if you have just installed a fresh copy of Windows. This would also help to install and update any other device drivers you may need on your computer. The process would require an internet connection, so ensure your PC is already connected to the internet before initiating the process. Now click on settings, and then on the page that pops up, click on update and security. Then here on this page, click check for updates and wait for the process to complete. This could take few minutes or tens of minutes depending on how much updates you need to download and install. And of course, the speed of your internet connection also matters. Normally, it will list out all the updates that need to be downloaded and installed along with the progress of each download and installation. So from here, you can estimate how long your updates is likely to take. Now after the update, it might require you to restart your PC to complete the process or schedule a restart later on. Here I will click on restart now and wait for the process to complete. If this process works fine for you, then upon restarting, you should have your screen in the right resolution again, and also the display settings shouldn't be grayed out anymore. But if you still have it blurry and fuzzy, then continue with the next suggestion. Here I'm going to manually update the display drivers. To do that, you go to your search and type Device Manager. Click on Device Manager from the search results. On the device manager page, search for where it says display adapters and click on the little arrow to the left to show the installed display adapters. Here simply right click and select update driver from the options and then click on search automatically for updated driver software. Again you will need an internet connection for this process so ensure you have your PC connected. After the update, you should see some positive message here like the best drivers for your device are already installed 
and below here you should have the name of the graphics card. Now close the window and restart your PC to complete the process. If for some reason this still didn't work for you, then you will need to manually download and install the display drivers for your PC. If you already know the type of graphics card you have on your PC, then you can directly search for the required drivers on Google and download accordingly. But if not, then you can use the model of your laptop to search for your display drivers from the manufacturer support page. For the case of this HP EliteBook 8540W, I will search download drivers for HP EliteBook 8540W and then click on the link from support.hp. By the way, it's advisable to always download your drivers from the manufacturer support page. So here I will select my operating system, which is Windows. Then for the version, I will select Windows 7 64 bits, even though I have Windows 10 64 bit. Generally, you can use your Windows 7 drivers for Windows 10 as well. Then here I'll click on change. Now upon refreshing the page, I will check for where it says graphics drivers and click on it to expand the options. Now I already know my graphics card which is NVIDIA as shown by the sticker on the laptop. So I will check for the latest NVIDIA driver from the list which is that of March 2013. Here I will click on the download button to the right and wait for the download to complete. Now sometimes you may not be sure of the actual graphics card you have in your laptop given that same laptop models might have different graphics card in them and maybe you don't have any stickers like I have in my case to show you what graphics card you have. In such situations you may need to try testing out the different drivers in the list until you find a matching one that works for you or better still you can use the Belak advisory tool I showed in this previous video to show you all the information about your laptop including the specifications of your graphics card. That way you can be sure what driver you have currently installed on your laptop. After downloading, simply double click and follow the instructions to complete the installation. Remember to restart after the installation and hopefully you should have your display looking sharp again. Hope one of these was able to help you out. Leave us a post in the comment section if you have any questions or feedbacks. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful and share with anyone you think might want to see. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications on future tech support videos like this one. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Thank you.